Hello, I'm going to show you how to paint in acrylics. Uh, a lot of people don't understand acrylics. I actually love acrylics. This is, if you're going to paint in acrylics, the first thing you must have, I think, is a, a Stay Wet palette. And what it is, it's a simple tray. Uh, you put your colours onto this tissue paper, and underneath the tissue paper is some blotting paper. And the blotting paper, you just keep moist. Use it open like this, and when you finish painting, you simply put the lid back on and that will keep the moisture inside and stop the paints from drying out. And the other thing is, the, the canvas that you use, this is uh, obviously a, a white primed canvas. The problem with using a white primed canvas is you get that artist block when you face with a white canvas. So what I'm going to do first is cover the canvas with a base coat of white and burnt sienna. and just cover the canvas like this. Now acrylics dry fairly quickly but they don't dry as quick as a lot of people assume. I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch paint dry so we'll move on to one I prepared earlier. This is going to be a summer landscape with a stream, cornfield in, in the middle distance and some flowers in the foreground. First of all I always say the best thing to do is, is to start with the sky start with some white and some cobalt blue start to paint that in like that. now the sunlight is going to come from the right through to the left so just put some blue in there Then with some ultramarine and some burnt sienna, which gives us sort of a, a greyish colour. Start to put in a hint of some clouds there. Bring that down. Make that just a touch darker with some burnt umber and some ultramarine. So some more blue and white, some cobalt blue with some white, a bit lighter this side, bring that right the way down to the horizon. Okay, so there's the dark in there. Now I'm just going to put some highlights on the top of the cloud with some white and a, just a touch of raw sienna, just to make it a slightly warmer colour. Just touch that onto the top of the clouds there, blend that in. We'll come back to that a bit later, maybe put some more highlights on the, on the clouds. The next stage is the far distant. I'm going to use this flat half inch foliage brush, which is made from bristle and hair, and cobalt blue with a touch of hooker's green and some white. Now the white will make it much paler, and hopefully will look as if it's right off into the distance. So this, this is still wet. So just dab that into the background. 